Hello everybody, welcome back to the Band of War Variety channel. In today's video we're going to be doing is we're going to be showcasing my two tool bags that I have here in my setup. Um, so I do a lot of currency collecting on this video and showcase I've showcased my collection. So now we're going to be shifting to a different type of collection and that is tools. Um, and we'll still be doing currency as that is what this channel is founded on. Uh, paper money and coin collecting, but this stuff is emerging on my channel as well. So this, think of this as like my collection of this type of stuff. Um, so basically, um, I have a Malco backpack here, and then this is a Vito Pro Pack Tech LC. These are both designed for HVAC work uh, technicians that do that type of stuff. Um, and that is basically what this is for. So let's start out with this one. This is a Malco backpack. It's about $150 on, uh, on uh, Acme Tools. Um, so this is, Malco makes a lot of nice sheet metal tools. Um, and you can actually get this bag along with all the sheet metal tools that come with it um, on Amazon for about $1,000. Uh, but that comes with your crimpers, your notchers, your pop blocks, um, duckbill pliers, vice grip pliers, uh, bulldog or sheet metal shears, um, your scribe, your hammers, um, bent, uh, hand benders, bifolds, all things like that. And um, I worked with some of Malco's sheet metal tools in my vocational school, and that's where I got this bag from. For being an outstanding student, they gave me the free bag with a couple of tools. Um, so I got this bag for free, so I did save money on it. Um, so it is a backpack. So if you are working somewhere and you need a backpack, works nice for that. Uh, nice supported backpack that you can use. Um, like I said, Baca makes a lot of sheet metal tools, but they do make other stuff as well. And this could be used for any type of trade, not just sheet metal, HVAC tools. So, um, on the bag here, we have a couple compartments for storage. Um, we have two D rings here, you can clip stuff on. Um, and I just use this bag for my school stuff because the regular backpacks that you get at Walmart suck compared to this. I already have that bag if I wanted to work somewhere or somebody wanted me to bring that if I went to work with somebody um, but or I could use this too but I figured this works better for school supplies because all the compartments in it and you'll see what I mean that isn't really the intended use for it but I might as well use it for that um, so basically in here is the back compartment um, these are all the compartments you could store your tools in uh, how I have my binder my school tablet in here Markers and colored pencils. I know it's weird. I know it's stupid looking, but you you wouldn't believe how much coloring and five year old stuff we have to do for English class that I don't feel like doing at home. So I like to get it done at school during lunchtime or at um, changing classes or things like that. So I have my colored pencils right in here to do that, um, and so I can get it done and come home and do constructive things. Um, and I have some pencils in here. And then there's space in here if I have things or whatever that I need to take to my vocational school or my uh, or supplies or small tools or whatever that I can stick in here. Um, I have bags for dirty things. You don't normally put these in a tool bag, but for school, I don't want to trash the inside of this bag because I have school things in here. So this is for dirty stuff if I have pipe or metal or something that I need to bring home from vocational school that's dirty that I need to not trash the inside of my bag with. Um, so I have that. I got a pencil sharpener in here. And originally I had all this in a tool or in a pencil pouch, you know, that you get at Target or Walmart. Well, that, it was filthy inside. I couldn't, you had to make a huge amount of noise to get to it. Well, here, you just keep all your scissors and all your crap right in your compartment. I got a pen in there, stuff like that. I got a uh, old 
ground folded bathroom plug from a wiring project I did. Um, a wiring thing, I changed a plug up in the bathroom. So I'm gonna be taking this to my vocational school to use for stuff. Let me put that in there. And then um, that is about it for in there. Um, not really the intended usage, like I said, but it does work for that pretty good. Um, up here, locker, master lock and my key for locking my locker, and then my school ID if I need the school ID to sign out of school or something if I'm getting picked up, and then if I need to lock my locker, which I do every year. So there's some sticky hand, Edward sticky hands people in that place as there is in most schools. And keep your lunch box in there, whatever. And that's about that. Uh, you have your side pockets here. You have on the, your straps here, you can fit these straps together. You can't really put too much stuff on here because when you go to use the straps, it kind of sucks if you have anything hanging there. So you can just clip the straps together. So there's not a whole lot of exterior storage on it like there is with that bag, but um, it is still an excellent bag. Um, and then I have my work mat, my work pro kneel mat on this. Um, so some of the things from that bag will be going into this for me to take to Votech and to school when I go back. So that'll be ready. Um, but anyway, it's a good bag. Um, definitely not as heavy duty or as nice as that one. Um, but it is a good bag to have. And especially for what it cost me, which was nothing, um, I can't complain. So, um, that is that. Um, and that has this nice flat, or this heavy bottom so that it stands up and it doesn't fall over like a yuppie Walmart Adidas backpack does. So, nice Malco bag. If you're interested in that, it's about $150 on Malco to or on Acme Tolls. You can get it off Malco's website. You can get them on Amazon, but I only was able to find the ones that sold the bag with all the tools that came with it, and that was about $1,000. Um, so um, that's about that. So now we're gonna move on to our Vito bag. So this is the Vito Pro Pack. Um, this is about $230 on Amazon. Vito makes a lot of different bags, not just these sort of work bags. They make backpacks. Um, different size bags of these to make lunch boxes, coolers, things like that, all different types of storage. Um, but they are known for their tool bags. And their tool bags are designed for HVAC, this one at least, is designed for HVAC service technicians. But many different types of tradesmen have found um, that they work well for their profession. Um, and I'm a long way from being a service technician so I haven't even started in any companies yet, um, but I'm waiting on my, to get employed, it's some, but uh, this is ready for if I need it someday, and I have it, and I have uh, kind of an idea how to set it up. Now with these bags, you're gonna change the setup of it 95 billion times because you find that you need different tools for different stuff. You may have multiple of these bags, um, for different types of heat or different types of refrigeration or different types of electrical work or something like that. Um, but I just kind of have the basic setup here that's gonna change multiple times as I use it. So um, on the front, I have my Neo mat. This isn't gonna stay here. Um, I just have it in case I need it uh, for if I go somewhere. This will be going on to this Malco bag over here uh, to take to vocational school. These are excellent to have if you're working on concrete. You also could have a pair of knee pads for when this doesn't fit in the space you're working in. Work Pro makes a nice kneel mat. Um, nice thick one. Because when you're 60 years old, trust me, if you've been kneeling on concrete your whole life, and you don't have to trust me, I don't know. I'm not 60 years old yet, but when you get to be that age, it's going to hurt really bad in the morning. 
if you've been banging yourself up when you were young. So don't jump off the back of trailers. Don't jump off the of scissor lifts. Don't kneel on concrete. Use these. Be gentle on your body because it will reward you when you're old. Um, and then, so I've heard from many people. Um, so that, I just have this chain on here you can use. Just do that. Take that off of there. I have a shoelace that hooks that up. So I'm the only kid with this stuff on his backpack at school, you can imagine. But I like being the only kid who does a lot of things. That's what we're like here at the bank of Will Ride at you. Unique. So anyway, we have a first pocket here. This is, you can keep your, some other different tips in here and stuff like that. Small things. And that just clips like that. I have, uh, there's another pocket up here you can keep things in. Papers, uh, business cards, things like that. Um, we have a D ring here, smaller one, larger one. It comes with this strap too. I keep my Teflon tape on it. You can also string it over to this D ring and use it like that. Um, but basically, I have my gas tape on here, half inch waterline tape, three quarter inch waterline tape, and a wool black electrical tape. Probably never gonna use them for a long time, but it's there. It looks cool on there, like, you, like you're set up. Um, so I just have that on there. Um, and a uh, pencil here, um, Sharpie, and a roller. Uh, on here, this is a clip specifically for your tape measure. This clip right here, I have a 10 foot uh, power tape on there. It just clips right on there like that. That'll be going off and going on that Malco bag um, D ring. It's not really, it doesn't really go on D rings too well, but it'll work. And I'll have one that I, I have one that I carry to school on my belt as well. I'm the kid doing that. But um, don't think that uh, you have to get all this stuff. When you go to work for somebody, you're not going to be starting out hauling your tool bag to their work. Okay, where do you need me? They're going to, most young people like me starting out, we don't know a whole lot. We have to be taught things. They're going to give us the stuff we need, the supplies we need, the tools we need first. Then they start telling you, okay, you might want to get this. You might want to get that. Or if you decide we're working with somebody who's a really good technician, you decide that, okay, I see what they do. I kind of like that. I want to get those types of tools. I want to get this type of bag. Learn from somebody who really knows what they're doing, like I have. I've talked to some people who know what they're doing. That's how I kind of have a setup with this. But you might want to do that first if you're just starting out. Don't think that you have to have it all figured out before you start the job because you're not. Um, so we have in here, this is the UEI multimeter tester. This is the number one tool for HVAC technicians. I got this free at my vocational school along with that Malco bag for being an outstanding student. It's another free tool I got that's critical that didn't cost me anything. So that comes in there. You have your uh, test leads and your uh, temp tip and your alligator t testers and it's a UEI tester. Fluke meter, I think is the best, but this is a pretty good tester too, and it didn't cost you nothing. And that's pretty much what this pocket is designed for, it's your, your tester to go in there. I have an outlet uh, tester, receptacle tester here that we used in the plug video, that I used in the plug video. And that's a ground faulted tester as well. Um, and you have that compartment up here. You have all these little slots right here. I have my ground, I have a couple ground nuts in here. This stuff is supplies. When you get your bag, you're gonna want tools in it, not so much supplies. But I just have these in here because I already have them. These will be going over to my Malco bag to go to vocational school to use there. Um, but I have an electrical tape container for stuff. 
another container, just have a couple quality wire nuts in there, a Brimax connector and a grounding clip. So, again, not really stuff you need, but I have it, so I might as well put it in here. My Pepe product, Bago lever nuts. So these are your connectors that you just push your wires in and then you pop it down. I used this in my first wiring video, one of these level number three ones. Vago 221s. Vago 221s. So I keep a pack of them. That goes to, to um, vocational school with me so that I can use that while everybody else is twisting on wire nuts. I can simply use those and wire nuts and then look cool with that. And then here I have a couple uh, ground screw jumper bonding screws that I use in vocational school because they don't like to bond metal things. I do, so that's why I have these. Some of them are too short, but whatever. Um, a pair of safety glasses in here. Make sure you have those on at all times. Uh, or you be the judge of when you need them. It doesn't hurt to wear safety glasses. Square receptacle cover, don't really need that. But it's there. That'll be going to the vocational school with me. And that's pretty much this front corner. You have a D-ring here. Um, and then you have a section down here in front of these compartments where you can keep stuff. So that's that. I do have the shoulder strap hooked up on these large D-rings over here. So if you need to, let's say, uh, put it over your shoulder, it's a little heavier. Now I'm ready to walk up to the job. I don't know about knees closed, might want to have something different on, but I have my bag on me. I have awesome ready to go. Or I get my work, my service stand for whatever company I'm in. I have my personal bag. And I go out to the customer's house or whatever to uh, do whatever they need. So um, we have that. Let's flip over to the other side. This is the more interesting side of what I have in here. Um, so my tech, or we have the cover, another place here where we can store, get rid of the papers. We can keep the business cards in there. Um, I think you can keep your wallet in here even, or in one of these, another small compartment. Um, D-rings. And then we have these snaps here. So when you pull this down, you can take these snaps and snap them into here. So you can fold it down and snap it into there. But it is kind of hard to do, so we're not worried about that today. And then you can kind of use this as a little bit of a shelf. So this is the tools in here. Um, I have a, over here, a pair of vice grip pliers. Um, so these are just, if you need to, they lock, so you need to grab around something and then you can adjust them to open the head up wider. It's a nice little tool to have. Um, I have my 10 inch adjustable wrench, Craftsman. This is a nice size to have. You need an adjustable wrench to, um, go around something. Um, and oh, Most of these tools are my dad's that he gave to me to use in here, so I didn't buy any of these. And once again, don't think you have to go out, uh, oh, I see this kid on YouTube, he has all this stuff, I need to go out and buy this and that and this and that. That's not what you need to do. Just, like I said, take baby steps with this first. Um, but um, this is a pair of channel locks. Just if you need them, adjustable standard size for if you need to use them for something. Um, we have a pair of Klein solid wire strippers here. These are really nice, very sharp. 
They strip the sheathing off wire very nicely. Solid wire though. Um, uh, I have a Klein 11-in-1 driver here. So we have uh, different tips and then you can use these. When you pull the tips out, you can use those as a nut driver. So I have it on the square drive because that works good on uh, newer plug and switch terminals, which I've been using for doing some lately. Um, uh, we have three comb and nut driver size. So I have quarter inch, five sixteenths, and three eighths. So red is quarter inch, yellow is um, five or uh, three five sixteenths. And this is um, 3 8 blue. Um, we have Electrocraft crimpers. Not as nice as Urea, but they are uh, they're good for crimping connectors onto wires like spade terminals and uh, those round connectors and grounding connectors and things like that. So you crimp up there. Um, we have uh, bolt cutters here, so you can cut your screws and your bolts. Um, ignition terminal slot, wire cutter right here, and you have a set of strippers. Uh, strippers don't really work too good. You're probably gonna get laughed at on the job if you strip with these, but um, you do work for that. Uh, and that is the um, set of crimpers. So we do use those, some in HVC. I just got a larger flathead screwdriver that I don't have in this 11 in one. I don't have this size. So if you're just in gas pressure on a gas valve or something, this would be a good size to have. Um, pair of needle nose, pliers. Uh, here we have a pair of regular straight pliers. Um, Pair of needle, a uh, pair of lineman pliers, for twisting wires, and they have a cutters on them too. Um, we have a pair of Klein uh, offset dikes or offset side cuts. They're offset; they're not straight like regular ones. For cutting mostly wire and things, but you can cut other stuff with them. Um, a uh, razor knife, sears, torpedo level for making sure things are plumb and level. Uh, and then this is a Malco um, reversible hex driver tip for your impact. Um, and then these, that's a uh, 3 8 um, And then these are all both, all of these are double sided. This is a quarter inch and um, this is a smaller 3 8 uh, one for SIP screws and things like that. Anything that you need for bolts in your impact gun. Reversible hex driver tips. And then you have. Um, so the last one down here on my mini six and one Klein driver that came with this 11 and one. So it has the Phillips and flathead tips in it, the two different sizes, and then you can use it as, or um, you can use one of these sides as a nut driver. So that's pretty nice. One if you need a stubby or screwdriver. Um, so that is what I have so far for the the bag. Um, that's pretty much it for the inside. Haven't taken it out on any work yet. Obviously, I'm a long way from that, but it is nice to have for down the road when I do need it. Like I said, if you're watching this and you're into this type of stuff, don't think that you have to go and buy all this stuff because in the event that you do and then you go to work for somebody, you're going to see that you don't really need to do that you're gonna work for them a while before you're getting into all this. So, um, 
they're not concerned with you having all this stuff and ready to go um, when you first get there. Um, so uh, that's pretty much that. Very nice bag. Highly recommend Vito's. They're excellent for this trade's work, um, and especially for HVAC. Um, so if you're getting a tool bag, I do recommend this. But the Malco is nice too. It's heavy duty. Um, and it, it, it'll fare good on the job as well. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, so please like, subscribe, so it helps out the Bang of War Variety channel. And stay tuned for any other videos that are coming out with mechanical terms and my Battle of Grotage videos uploaded. Um, and that is my latest movie. Really good. I, I advise you to check that out. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video.